There has never been a better time to start photographing the night sky, and I'm talking galaxies, nebulae, star clusters, the sun, the moon, and even beautiful nightscapes. This little device right here removes the hurdles that those who are interested in photographing the night sky face, like fast wide field lenses, a camera, a sky tracker, a wedge, a ball head adapter, an intervalometer, and a list of accessories, and it, that doesn't include the time it takes to edit your photos and the knowledge to know how to do so. This takes that entire process and combines it into a single compact portable device that is completely controlled by your smartphone. So hello and welcome to the High Point YouTube channel. My name is Tegan and I'm an amateur astronomer and for the past decade I have been photographing the wonders of the night sky. I create tutorial, how-to videos, and extensive product review videos for the High Point YouTube channel. So without further ado, let's take a deeper dive into the Seastar S30 Pro from ZWO. So the Seastar S30 Pro is what we in the industry call a smart telescope. Basically, this is a sensitive instrument designed to photograph the night sky with minimal knowledge and effort from you, the end user. Developed by a company known for their expertise in optics, cameras, and industry-leading software, ZWO is constantly redefining what it means to make amateur astronomy more accessible to everyone. So let's dive into the details of the ZWO Seastar S30 Pro, starting with what comes in the box. Upon opening the box, you'll find a soft but sturdy case, and inside it contains the Seastar S30 Pro itself and all of its accessories. First, the Seastar. This smart telescope consists of a quadruplet apochromatic lens that provides incredibly sharp stars across the entire field of view and is extremely well color corrected. The focal length is 159 millimeters in length, and the focal ratio is a quick f3.5 with a 30 millimeter objective. The integrated camera is a Sony IMX 585 Starvis II and is highly regarded in the amateur astronomy community for its 4K resolution and high sensitivity. In addition, the S30 Pro also includes a 4K resolution wide field camera and lens for landscape, Milky Way, time lapse, and star trail shots. It has an internal storage capacity of 128 gigs, which allow room for several nights and days worth of photo and video. Next, in the box, you'll find a simple tripod which threads directly into the bottom of the Sea Star itself. And lastly, included as well is a solar filter for photographing details on the solar surface and a charging cable that acts as a data transfer cable also. At the time of filming, we had a pre-production model. In the box, you'll also find a quick start guide and a manual, as well as a sheet of stickers to decorate your Sea Star. So we've talked about the specifications and what comes in the box, but where does the phone play its role? This is the Sea Star app, and it's the brains behind the entire operation. The S30 Pro has Bluetooth and Wi-Fi connectivity through which you control the device from the Sea Star app. So with that, it is time to take this out into the backyard. We're going to go through the app and show you the scenery and the solar imaging mode. And then when the sun sets, we're going to talk about lunar mode and the deep sky astrophotography mode. Let's get started. All right, so we are here in my backyard, and today we're gonna to talk about the scenery and the solar imaging mode on the Seastar S30 Pro. The first thing that we have to do is download the Seastar app, of course, from your app store, and then we can power on the Seastar itself. Hold down the button for a few seconds, and then you'll hear the words, Powering on, ready to connect. Now, once you're ready to connect, you can open your Seastar app, and then you can hit the connect button. Once you do this, it might ask you for a password, which is typically one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. After you've entered your password, then you can hit connect, and then it will connect to the Bluetooth and the Wi Fi signal coming from the C Star itself. It's going to ask you if you'd like to join, hit join, and now we're ready to start exploring. So now that the arm is open, then we can click scenery mode. And the first thing you'll notice is that it has a wide field mode and then it has the narrow field of view mode. And you also have the option for a time lapse. Take a time lapse, you have the option to take photos, and you even have the option for videos. Over here on the right hand side, you can adjust your exposure settings from bright to low. And addition to this, you can also do autofocus 
and move your C-star in any position that you'd like with the joystick here. If you want to move left, simply slide it left. And if you want to move up, you can simply slide the joystick upwards. Now, one of the greatest features about the scenery mode is the object tracking mode. The object tracking mode allows you to highlight any position or any object in your frame and it's going to automatically center it. And it's also going to track it and follow it as it moves across the landscape. All right, so the next mode that we're gonna do, and coincidentally, a perfect time, is the sun just came out. So we're gonna look at the solar imaging mode. If you hit solar system and then sun, and, and then you hit go gazing, it's going to require that you calibrate your C star. You continue to rotate the C star until the circle is fully green. All right, so now that we've finished that, now we can go ahead and install our solar filter, and this is a magnetic clip-on filter. The instructions will tell you exactly how to do this, and make sure you never point the S30 at the sun because it could ruin the telescope without the proper solar filter. So hit installed and start observing. Now it's going to automatically find the sun. So like I said, using the Sea Star for just photographing the environment and the nature and the wildlife around you is really fun. And it's also a very capable little solar telescope and it takes some pretty high definition photos of the solar surface. So with that, we talked about the scenery and solar mode. Now we're going to wait till the sun sets and we're gonna take a deeper dive into the deep sky or stargazing mode. We'll see you at nighttime. All right, so the sun has set, it is officially nighttime. We are out here in my front yard. It is very cold, but tonight we're gonna to be diving into the stargazing mode. Earlier today, we visited the scenery mode, the object tracking features, but tonight we're gonna to be focusing on imaging the Orion Nebula. Now, other than the stargazing mode, the Sea Star app also offers a solar system and lunar imaging mode. And the lunar imaging mode is very similar to the solar imaging mode, but in this case, you photograph craters on the lunar surface, and it does a very good job of doing that. On top of this, it also has a Milky Way imaging mode. And within this mode, you have the option to shoot time lapses and even star trails. So, as you can see in this live capture right now in the Milky Way imaging mode, you can see the Orion Nebula down here in the bottom right here in the corner. And you can see this live on my screen. And that's directly overhead here to my left. And so that's what we're gonna be focusing on, the Orion Nebula. Now for the stargazing mode, we recommend you start in the Sky Atlas, and that can be found on the bottom of the ZWO homepage app. Click on the Sky Atlas mode, and there's two ways you can approach this. You can do the compass mode. If you tap the compass on the right, this allows you to point your device up at the sky and choose any object that you want to shoot. The second way is if you tap the magnifying glass up here at the top right, you can manually search for targets or you can choose one within the best right now catalog. You can choose deep sky objects like galaxies, nebula, clusters, Messier, IC objects, objects from the NGC catalog. You can choose objects from our solar system, and you can even look within constellations for deep sky objects. But tonight, we're gonna to be photographing the Orion Nebula. So I click on M42, it says locate target position, hit go to. Finding object. The C star is automatically going to move towards that object, calibrate, focus, and start photographing it. Object is centered. Start enhancing image. 
then it's going to start to enhance your image. And by this, it's going to start taking multiple pictures of 10 second exposure times. It's going to layer them on top of each other in real time. And this is going to increase the picture's color, the detail, your signal to noise ratio. And it's going to look much better than a single image. And this is all going to happen live in real time on your phone. And you can watch it as the Orion Nebula just continuously gets brighter, sharper, and more colorful. Even a 10, 20 seconds worth of exposure time, you can see some incredible detail, some incredible color, the stars look sharp. I'm gonna let this sit and see what we can achieve in 15 minutes worth of exposure time. All right, so here we are back in the studio and it was really awesome to see just how much I could achieve in just 15 minutes worth of exposure time. Now, one of the cool things about the S30 Pro is that you can choose to store your files in either JPEG format or raw TIFF file format. And that means you can upload them to your computer and post process them fully in your favorite editing software. Now, for those of you who are a bit more versed in astrophotography, I use the software AutoStacker to convert the raw video file of the sun that I took and converted it into a single final image. You can also do this for your deep sky photos as well and post process and stack them deep sky stacker pics inside or photoshop all you have to do is connect the c star to your laptop or computer via the included usb c cable and drag and drop the files to whatever software you need now this isn't all there are still a few key features that we have yet to mention that will overall heighten your c star experience we're going to start with the milky way mode the Milky Way mode that we briefly discussed gives you the ability to create AK panoramas both vertically and horizontally. Your C star will still track the sky in Milky Way mode for longer exposure, so if you're under dark skies, I bet you can just imagine the types of photos that you can achieve of the Milky Way in this imaging mode. With this mode and the time lapse, there are some incredible possibilities with this feature. The next feature that we have yet to discuss is the ability to broaden your C star's field of view by creating a deep sky panorama. Once you enter the stargazing mode and choose your deep sky object of interest, you can choose to zoom in or out, giving you four times the imaging area over a standard single image. The sea star will capture and stitch together the entire mosaic in real time, giving you the flexibility to image much larger deep sky objects. The next feature that we need to discuss is the NFC connection mode built into the sea star. By simply tapping the back of your smartphone to the front of the Sea Star, you can automatically open the Sea Star app and start the connection process. This is going to be a faster and more efficient way to start imaging under the night sky. Now, like I mentioned before, we are using a pre-production model of the Sea Star S30 for this review, but ZWO is going to continuously update the app and include new features, new improvements that will overall heighten the Sea Star experience from your smartphone. Despite that, the Sea Star S30 itself contains all of the hardware and the features and the imaging capabilities that you would want from a smart telescope. Here at High Point, we love how rapidly astrophotography is evolving from something that required extreme dedication in niche gear to a hobby that is much more accessible and hands-free thanks to smart devices like the C-Star from ZWO. As you can see in this video, the S30 is accelerating this trend by combining simplicity with stellar hardware to allow almost anyone to create stunning photos of the night sky. If you are someone who wants to explore the night sky and capture shareable images of our universe, the time to start is now, no matter who you are. I am Tegan from High Point. We thank you so much for tuning in to our full review of the C-Star S30 Pro. If you have any questions at all, please let us know in the comments below and we'll be more than happy to assist. Thank you so much and clear skies.